Why, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Today, we will be fighting those Endermen and repairing our armor. I have a few other things in store, but I'm not going to really tell you about them right now. Let's go ahead and make our way over to our house. Now, the first thing we're going to be looking for is our iron. Hopefully, we have a little bit extra from uh, the last time we went mining. Of course, we do. Um... I think, I think five pieces maximum should do it. Now, let's go ahead and head downstairs. Um, as you can see, our helmet and our boots have taken a, a quite a beating here. So, I figured we could go ahead and repair them now. Now, let's go ahead and take our boots and our helmet. And let's go ahead and drop them in here. Now, these are going to cost quite a few levels or most likely will cost some levels at least. Uh, there we go. So, if we put, what, three in, it will be brand new. Ah, uh, that seems worth it. And then let's go ahead and, and do the helmet. The helmet, yes, and we'll, we'll just do two for that. That's fine. Um, there we go. And so now that is how you repair armor in uh, in 1.8. It's obviously a little bit cheaper than it used to be. I think it used to be far more expensive than that. Um, but but yeah, that will work now. Now, like I said, we're going to go hunt Enderman uh, when night falls here. So give me a little bit, you guys. Um, and I will just cut in me actually killing the Enderman. I don't want to have to put you guys through actually me like talking and trying to find them for a very long period of time. So I'll be back with you guys when nighttime comes. Okay, and I see our first Enderman here. He's just across the pond there, if you can see him. I'm not looking directly at him for a reason. It is because I don't want to, uh, to spook him quite yet. Um, now, hopefully, he uh, he's compliant with us. Hopefully, he doesn't jump around too much, and hopefully, he drops an Ender Pearl because we only have those three right now. I'll sneak up on him here, and remember, hit the legs first. Oh, we got him, and we got his Ender Pearl. Awesome, you guys. I'm going to keep my eye out for some more, and hopefully uh, we can kill a few tonight. Okay, and we have our second one here, just over this ridge. Let's go ahead and sneak up. One, two, three. Nice, and we get another Ender Pearl. Awesome. Let's keep let's keep uh, keep the lookout. That was not very far at all. I might even just fast forward that, um, so you guys can see really how 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 close an interval that was compared to last time when I had to do all those fading. Okay, like I said, I'll I'll see you guys when I get the next one. And here's another one. Uh, he seems to be like running around quite crazily. Maybe he's running away from a creeper or something. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy now. Oh, and he dropped a pearl as well. Awesome. That is the number that I wanted is 300 pearls. So why don't we go ahead and head back home now, uh, now now that we have our goal. And I cannot believe that was done on the first night. That is absolutely spectacular compared to, like I said, the other the other night. Uh, yeah, so that's very cool. We have three more ender pearls. Now, I do want to show you what uh, what the ender pearls do, but I don't want to waste them right now. I'm sure that we'll run into more endermen as time goes on, and I will be able to actually show you what the ender pearl does. But like I said, uh, they're, they're kind of a, a, a commodity right now for us, so I don't really want to. Um, I don't. I don't really want to want to use them. Uh, or, or waste them, as, as some may say. Now, there's a zombie up on our roof. What are you doing up there, pal? Hey, hey, this this is our house. This is my lawn. Let's get him. We come here. No, oh, we gotta jump up. Jump up. How do we get up? Come here. No, come here. I I know I can hear you up there. Oh no, bad parkour. Go! Ow! Come on! We're gonna get them off our lawn. There we go. Let's go. You get off our lawn. There we go. Stupid zombie staying on our lawn. Okay. Now let's go ahead and head up here and we will create some more um, ender eyes. Or I believe, yeah, eye of ender. Uh, there we go. So now we have in total six eyes of ender. Now this will be enough in order to find the end, which is what our end goal would be there uh, with collecting those. So I think we can take those out and we can find the end, but we, we're not going to be doing that this episode. This episode, actually, I, I really wanted to head into the nether and I wanted to see exactly um, what we could do over there because... I wanted to fight the wither before we before we go to the end because the wither is like a pre or a, a smaller boss or not the main boss of the game and I wanted to show him off as well um, 
yeah, so we're we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna I'm gonna try to get some Wither Skulls uh, as fast as possible here. Like it will just be like the Enderman thing, if anything. Um, I don't know. I don't know how 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 well it's gonna go. But like I said. I will see you guys in a minute once we are fighting some Wither Skeletons, and I'll show you exactly what they are and what they can do. Um, I'll see you in a second. All right, everybody, and we are back now. I just killed a Blaze there, but I wanted to go ahead and explain something before we go ahead and kill these Wither. Now, Wither is a, another part of... Get out of here. Are you kidding me? First... First wither skeleton I kill, I get a skull. No way. <gasps> That's amazing. I was just going to explain this. Okay, so basically withermen have have a low chance of dropping their skull. They they normally drop colon bones. They have 10 health just as a, pl a regular player does. Now, I wanted to explain that with no looting on a sword, you have a 2.5% chance of the skeleton dropping a, um, a skull. So, on average, you would have to kill about 100... You'd have to kill about 100 um, wither skeletons in order to get your three skulls in order to build the wither boss. Now... With looting one, you get a 3.5%. So it's a little bit less than 100 in order to get your your um, your wither skeletons, your three skeleton heads. Now, our sword has looting two on it. So that means it has a 4.5% chance. So that's a little bit closer to about 50%. It's, it's, it's our about 50 wither skeletons. It's probably closer to like 60 or 65, I would have to say. And then looting three gives you a 5.5%, which is very close to... Uh, about 50 wither skeletons now we're gonna try to go ahead and bait this wither skeleton out to come try to kill me now and only him because like i said we're, we don't want to fight blazes we don't have a fire resistance potion or anything so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and farm on these guys and try to get some more skulls but i cannot believe that the first wither skeleton we killed had gave us a skull that was absolutely ridiculous and i'll go ahead and show me i think uh go ahead and walking into this area and everything and how like Oh, man, that was amazing. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. And there we go. There is our second skeleton skull. I had been doing that for quite a long time. I actually made a trip back. That's why our inventory is so empty. I made a trip back home between then and now. Um, let's go ahead and kill these guys, too. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get another skull right away. Please? Please? I've been killing them like crazy. I found diamonds out here. I found a ton of crazy stuff. I had over a stack of bones. I have like 27 more blaze rods at home. And um, like I said, we're only halfway done, so or a little two thirds done now. Uh, let me go ahead and keep looking for the final skeleton uh, skull. Oh, oh, please, maybe, maybe. Okay, we gotta get him to aggro so that he doesn't fall off the edge when I hit him. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, I'll let you guys be, and I'll be back here in a minute. And there we go. I think I got it from that last guy. That was absolutely awesome, you guys. Uh, okay, so yeah, as you can see, uh, they also drop stone swords, which are obviously not the greatest, but I figured I'd show that you can get them from them. And there we go. We have our three wither skulls, which is absolutely amazing and a little bit scary because now we have the possibility of spawning one of the stronger bosses, the strongest bosses in the game, um, which I'm, I'm a little bit worried about, but it's fine. We're not going to do that this episode because we need, uh, I'll show you guys here uh, actually really quick. It'd be easier than me trying to explain it. Uh, in order to get the achievement for killing him which is this one right here uh, i believe actually i don't know do we have to I, I don't know we have to go to the end first so here's locating the end and there is there is actually the end and then we need to i think get a skull and then um and then kill 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 him i don't know what these achievements are exactly but i think i think that's how it goes so i think we might have uh collected the skulls a little bit prematurely for the achievements which is kind of unfortunate but we if anything i mean i can always come out before we actually fight him and, and try to get myself another skull now i'm not gonna lie this took a long time i've been recording for about an hour now so with killing the enderman and killing uh killing all those guys it has been quite a bit of time uh but it's no big deal we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next step which i have decided we'll be actually locating the end i think we should do that this episode um i know we went a little bit sidetracked finding all these wither skeletons but that's fine i think our, our next step will be 
finding the end and now we're going to do that with our ender pearls like i said uh or not I, not our ender pearls i our i have enders um so when we get back to the overworld i'll let you guys know when we're all ready to go out on our next quest Oh, and, and I wanted to say, um, as you can see, I didn't bring my good pickaxe over here. I figured if I die, I don't want to lose everything nice. So I, I went ahead and and made myself an iron pick. And uh, there's quite a few things actually. Now that now that um, now that we're already home, uh, I want to show you which is uh, exactly what we got. Now we have a ton of blaze rods, 52, almost a stack of blaze rods because you run into a lot of blaze while fighting these wither skeletons, uh, as well as we have some magma creams. Those are dropped by magma slimes. Uh, now magma creams when they're used in a potion station they're actually they actually give you uh, fire resistance which would be beautiful to go to the nether if we have anything else to fight in the nether uh, we will need to remember that we have those here now like I said we're, I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and grab our regular pick and then we should be ready to go out on our next adventure now let's check the time of day as well uh, here's our here's our pick now let's go ahead and oh we can drop some other stuff off I guess as well like this and that and then valuables will get our coal and naturals will get our bone there we go uh, like i said we got a ton of bone as well now what time of day is it the sun is still rising you can see it moving very very slowly but it's still rising so let's go ahead and uh actually pearl but we're gonna do it uh no we're not gonna do it out by the ocean because if you do it out by the ocean you have the probability of it actually landing it under underwater and then you're never gonna get it back uh and you can you can use these more than one time now they do have a, a certain durability um but yeah so you can use them more than one time so now let's go ahead and throw it by right clicking where did that go oh, okay there it was so yeah like i said these have a durability to them it looks like we need to go up this way oh and there's the other one okay you can see see you can reuse them which is very awesome so it looks like uh the end may be in this direction here now, once we find the <laughs> once we find the end, um, hopefully we'll be able to mark it somehow. Um, let's go ahead and get up here, and we'll throw it again. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be out this way. Right, this is pearl going to fall. Okay. Like I said, pearls are not. We don't have them unlimited right now, so we're going to keep on on grabbing them as much as we can. Now, let's make some headway here. Uh, we'll run this direction quite a bit, and then we'll keep doing it. Now, I'm going to keep using this technique. I don't want to bore you guys by by trying to um, by trying to find and keep keep continuously uh, doing this. Hold on, is there a vine here? Vines can be used like ladders, like this. See, so you don't fall and, and fall to your death. Okay, let's go ahead and throw the next one. Uh, okay, so yeah, it looks like it's through the jungle forest. So uh, let me get through the whole jungle, and then we will uh, we'll find out where we have to go next. All right, now we are out of the, the jungle wood forest. I went ahead and or the jungle and uh, and I went ahead and swam across the water. Now let's go ahead and right click it again. Where'd that go? Oh, okay, I don't know why I keep losing them. So it looks like we're gonna have to keep going this way. Now it could be really far away. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we probably should have brought a little bit more food, but I think we'll be able to forage it. Hopefully out here. Um, in case of emergency, we always have our 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 sword and we can kill things and i'm yeah i'm, I'm not super worried about it uh it just would be nice to have pre-prepared uh the food a little bit more now let's go ahead and get over this hill and we'll do it again there it is okay so it takes a second to, to go okay now hopefully seeing that one broke that's the first time we've seen one break there um yeah and so that's what that animation looks like so you can't catch those obviously anymore once that happens so we're gonna we're gonna keep going this way and i will get to you guys once i it feels like we're getting a little bit closer Oh, and we're going a new direction, apparently. So that's awesome. Okay, guys, and I think we have found it, actually. Um, our Ender Pearls, also our, our Eye of Enders, are, um, are doing something pretty crazy, and this is what happens once you get close. I'll go ahead and right-click, and we'll look at the ground this time. They go underground, and they start hitting against the ground, and they go as far as they can. It's still closer to it, but they say that this is basically getting close. So uh, it looks like right about here is where we're going to going to want to go because we're not going to want to start digging from underwater here so we'll start here at the shore and we'll work our way down uh basically diagonally um but yeah and so let's go ahead and dig down like this so like i said we're going to go on a diagonal pattern uh, unfortunately we do not have uh 
a bed because it looks like it's becoming nighttime. But let's go ahead and mark this uh, pretty clearly so that we can see it no matter what time of day it is because we are going to have to come back once we're more prepared. Uh, I know that we're not prepared enough to go to the end, but I figured we'd go ahead and find it. And then we'll, we'll put like an awkward structure here, um, hopefully so that we see it from a distance uh, i will remember this big rock structure by the way when i was coming uh towards it i was like oh that's a sweet new biome oh and there's snow that's the first time i think we've ever seen snow uh we can see it over on the hilltops over there let's go ahead and jump down and eat up and then we will continue digging down here uh i'll probably speed this up for you guys so you don't have to watch me uh tunnel all the way down to the end and hopefully it's down here all right and here we are uh not too far down, uh, really, but I ran into this wall and I figured I'd show you guys uh, exactly what this looks like. This is uh, mossy brick here. There usually are multiple rooms in in a uh, in a dungeon. As you can see, there's different layers and stuff, and there's there's different mobs and there's 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 libraries and this is absolutely awesome. But you guys, uh, I know this episode may have come up short for you guys, but I think we are going to go ahead and cut it here. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick trip back to the house between episodes, and hopefully we will uh, be more prepared to fight these guys a little bit. But I did want to find it this episode so that at least we know that there is an end close to the house. It actually wasn't too far away at all. Uh, it's about it was about the distance of the um, the ocean monument, which was very very awesome. Uh, I wanted to thank you all for watching so much. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that like button. Uh, I, I really do enjoy uh, all you guys' feedback down in the comment section. Give me suggestions, comments, you know, all that good stuff down below. Uh, and I love your faces. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.